cherry blossoms. You want to see them do the opposite of what we did. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Woo! Where is the cherry blossom? Yes. Two lovely locals decided to show me the sakura in Sapporo. Are we going to Mos Baga? That's the real question. I will go to Mos Baga. Nana, this is Shashi. And together we formed a special team. Team Pupu! Our first stop was the cheapest place in Japan. This is 100 yen shop. And its name is Daiso. Sakura. <laughs> yes. Beautiful, beautiful shot and we are done. But seriously, why are we here? Daiso, you can buy gel nails for 100 yen. No, wait. Please forgive her. There are actually cheap, cool things here. Check this out. Shall we get another washing machine? You can actually wash stuff in here. Seriously? Yeah, you can put the water and it's gonna spin. You can literally get anything in a Daiso. For example, food and glasses. Electronics and even knives. And if you have a little kid, you got toys as well. <laughs> so what did you get? I bought bubble, bubble gun. <laughs> no reaction. Woo! Are we going to Mos Burger? Yes. We decided to grab some Mos Burger, Japan's best junk food. Although some people might disagree with me. Japan's blandest burger restaurant. Yeah, don't listen to that guy. Trust me, nothing beats the special rice yakiniku burger during big big time under the beautiful cherry blossoms. A great place to find sakura in Sapporo is just about anywhere around town. During the sakura season, it's fairly easy to spot them in many locations. With that said, there was a problem and it's fail number two. No, not this one. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the sakura branches aren't fully blossomed yet. We live in Hokkaido, the region that receives the sakura last, so you better time your visit if you want to get the full sakura experience. Well, at least this guy is happy. Okay, Team Pupu, second destination. Shrine. It seems like this is the promised land where we will find the fully blossomed sakura, the Ashiribetsu Shrine. Bad weather can ruin your cherry blossom experience. Rain and wind can cause blossoms to fall faster, making it harder to appreciate the fully bloomed sakura. As you can see, it's still not the ideal place for the sakura sightseeing. So let's have a quick pray and move to one of the best sakura places in Sapporo. Let's pray a little bit. Saringan. I prayed. Team Pupu, what is the next destination? Hiraoka Koe. I'm sleepy. Team Pupu, it seems like there is no sakura here. Let's cherry, go. Cherry, cherry blossom. Let's go back. Cherry blossom. Cherry, cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. <laughs> Not again. Where is the cherry blossom? I swear I will go back right now. <laughs> Why are you not so patient? No, that's, I... That's... Right now I need it! Beautiful! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! <laughs> Your head? My is... head is bold, like the cherry blossoms. But I'm pretty sure that uh, it would look beautiful if it was full on. Despite almost losing my sanity with those two, after a few more meters we did find some half-bloomed cherry blossoms. Our next stop was a famous sakura ice cream shop. Yes, there is sakura flavor ice cream in Japan. While tasting this deliciousness, I had a very interesting question for Team Pupu. So both of you are Japanese, right? What was your weirdest experience with a gaijin in Japan? It's you. Me? <laughs> Just meeting me. Okay, I guess I'll take that as a compliment. Take into consideration that popular cherry blossom spots can be very crowded. Fortunately, the park we visited was pretty chill. There was only one last chance to see the fully blossomed sakura, and it was to wait a few days and visit a hidden gem. We're gonna go to the Hokkaido Jingu, the biggest shrine in Hokkaido. Finally entering the shrine grounds, just remember to walk on one of the sides 
because it's the passageway of the gods, like we said before in previous videos. I'm excited! Yes! I think, I think I miserably failed and there is no sakura inside. While cheering myself up with a cherry blossom dorayaki, I realized that the sakura was never supposed to be inside the shrine grounds, but in the grove that surrounds the area. Well, let me tell you one thing. I'm going through a majestic forest definitely adds to the experience. I'm of course gonna link it down below. If you're in Sapporo, visit it. It's worth it. Makes me smile. Well, apparently failure turned into a success. We found a few sakura left and it looks gorgeous. The hunt for the sakura continues and I found another one. <laughs> yes, two, number two. Spot number three. Boom, got it. Check it out. Beautiful passage behind me, but uh, yes. Well, hopefully you will not make the mistakes me and Team Pupu made. Follow our steps in reverse and you will definitely encounter some majestic cherry blossoms. Stay safe. Cherry, cherry blossom, cherry blossom. <laughs>